Um, this will be a tutorial on how to uh, clean a wall heater. Okay, this is a wall unit. So uh, I'm doing this for a friend here. Up here on top, there's going to be one screw. I have it already removed. So you will remove that. And this whole unit comes off, okay? Uh, inside here, this will be called the heat exchange right here, this big metal part that goes all the way down to the ground, basically, to the floor, I should say. Uh, there's a shield right here. You gotta be careful with this thing, the, the shield right here. This is uh, very, very sharp and can cut your hand open. I don't know why they make them that sharp, but anyway. And there's another shield. This one goes right here. It'll have four screws. One, two, and they're all on the inside, and two more on the bottom on the inside also. This heat shield, this heat shield right here, will come off uh, once you unscrew this screw up here and this screw. Uh, it's, it vents out the heat also, uh, the, the carbon going up into the flue, up into your attic and straight out on top of the roof. Uh, this one was real suited up, so was the heat, uh, the heat exchange, very, uh, just, just very clogged up with soot. So, uh, you can take it off, and, uh, once you remove those screws, like I said, clean it real good, take it out and back this part, and the heat exchange, you can use a water hose on them, clean them out real good. It will make a mess if, you know, even if it has a little, it, it's just black soot, so do it on the ground, grass, whatever, you know, it's wherever you want to clean it. So uh, once you do that, let it dry, bring it, assemble it back in reverse order. You're going to put this part, slide it back up, then the heat exchange goes right inside. You can see right here, it just slides right into that little cup right there. And uh, on the bottom, it has two screws on the, the bottom. You screw this heat exchange in into the, the, the heat shield. Uh, the backing of it and then also you'll put this back on I, I took this one completely apart gas line everything cleaned it all out dust everything uh, once I had this part that goes into the flue removed I put a vacuum cleaner right up in here and with a wire brush I uh, this one like this see made for a dryer you know to clean out lint I was just scraping away and with the 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 uh, vacuum cleaner hose was sucking all the soot down. I mean, yes, there's going to be some falling everywhere, but you catch the majority. It'll be sucked up in there. Scrape as high as you can. Now, if your flue in, inside your attic leading up to your roof is real clogged up also, you might want to go buy some new ones. Uh, they're not that expensive, and it'll be a lot cheaper than telling somebody, some heating company telling you that they're going to charge you three, four $4,000 to replace it. It, it'll run you a hundred or so, you know, uh, you'll attach it to the, the vent in your attic. Uh, if you have to replace it and, and it goes beyond that, well, you might want to call a contractor if you don't know what you're doing. But uh, basically, they're just hollow tubes stacked up, you know, it'll vent out carbon. And anyway, like I said, this one from here on was clogged. I went in the attic, it was, it was fairly decent, so it it's, didn't need to be replaced. But this part was definitely very clogged up, I mean. So I cleaned it out, like I said, reassemble it in reverse order. If you uh, don't remember where all these wires go on the bottom, take a picture. I, I uh, knew where they went, so I took the uh, gas hose off, cleaned it out, made sure it was running properly. Cleaned it all up, lit the pilot again, as you can see right there. It starts right up, and that's that. That'll save you a ton of money. And don't forget to clean the cover of the, the heater when you put it before you put it back on. Enjoy working on your own home. Save money. Goodbye.